Hey Nelly Addicts, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we're doing some reverse stamping using one of my maniology plates that I got recently. It's the artist Van Gogh and we're going to be recreating two of his most famous paintings and that's one his self-portrait and the other one is going to be his almond blossom tree. So I haven't been stamping for long and I definitely have not been reverse stamping for even a short amount of time. What I did find helpful was to gather all my nail polishes that I thought I would need to use ahead of time. I also gathered a few tools like some very small dotting tools and very thin fine detailing paint brushes. If you don't have these tools, use what you have. But I found mine on Amazon and on Timu, and they were very reasonably priced. Another thing to add about reverse stamping is that when you're using your tools, like your dotting tool, make sure that you have a good wet drop on the end of that dotting tool. If your brush is dry, or if there's only a little bit of product on the edge, on the end of the tool, it will actually lift the image off your rubber stamper. I lost a few leaves during this process because I didn't have enough product on the tip of my dotting tool or on the tip of my fine detailer brush. Yes, you do have enough time. You don't have to rush once you get your image on your stamper and you start to do your reverse imaging painting the image is going to dry on the stamper but it will still transfer once you put down your sticky base coat to your nail unlike when you initially take it off the scraper and stamp it you have when you use your scraper you have to pick up that image immediately. You don't have time to waste with after you scrape it and pick up the image with the stamper. Once you have the image on the stamper, you do have plenty of time to get into those fine details. You even can look it, turn it around and look into it to make sure that you're covering all the little areas that you need to cover. Because once you lay down your base coat, it will pull the image. If it's sticky enough, it'll pull the image off the rubber stamper as you could just see. I don't have Maniology's sticky base coat. I just use LA Colors top and base coat that I got from the Dollar Tree. And so far it's been working out really well for me. I would like to eventually purchase Mandiology Sticky Base Coat, but as of right now, this base coat and top coat duo works just fine. So let's get into after picking up your image and you're going to start reverse painting. For me, it helped to see inspo pictures it also helped that I actually looked up Van Gogh's original paintings and I seen the color scheme that he used. Now for his self-portrait, you'll see that I actually have two different versions of it. The first version was me going by my memory, but the second version is after I looked it up on Google and seen exactly what it looked like. And that second image that I did of him came out way better. Unfortunately, I did not record that because I honestly didn't think it was gonna turn out as good as it did. So you can imagine to my surprise, when I did see what I had finished, I was so upset that I did not record that. Nonetheless, once I was finished, I was so impressed. Reverse stamping actually really brought this to life. I hope you guys will try to do reverse stamping also. It's not as hard as you think once you figure out 
what colors you're gonna use and where you're gonna use them at. After you finish stamping your images, now it's time to apply a smudge-free top coat. I did use Maniology smudge-free top coat. The other ones that I've tried to use that were not Maniology actually smeared my images and it completely ruined all that hard work I had done. You need a thick top coat so that you can glide it over it or float it over it, not something that drags it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful. And I hope you guys enjoy watching my content. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.